Hi artists. Monday is Memorial Day, May 25th. If you don't know what that means, it is a day that we recognize and honor the men and women who have served in our US military and who have lost their lives. So that means they either were in the Army, Navy, Marines, um, and participated in those military branches and unfortunately lost their lives. So it's a special day. You will probably see a lot of American flags out and about. Now, a lot of people think it's the start of summer, which we're getting close, but really it is a special day to um, remember our US military people. So I thought this week we would make a flag that you could hang up and display and share for others. So go ahead, Once um, I'm gonna show you some videos about artists who have used flags as their subject matter, and then you'll have a chance to get your supplies, and then when we come back, we'll be able to create work together. So enjoy, I'll see you soon. Central Great Artists, let's get started on our flag for your Memorial Day weekend decoration to hang up. To get the flag started, you'll need to divide your paper into sections. So I'm going to draw a straight line over and up for the corner of the flag. That's the blue and the stars. Then I'm going to draw a series of horizontal lines creating the stripes of the flag. Draw as many as you'd like. So there's the base outline that I drew with my pencil. Now I'm gonna to switch to markers. If you have paints, you can use those. If you have crayons, colored pencils, um, whatever fits best for your art making, go ahead and use. That's the, the good thing about this type of work in this project, you can use various materials. I am using the wide edge of the marker. We've done this before where we turn the marker on its side to get a thick line compared to straight up where you get that thin line. So when it is on its side, you'll be able to cover more of your surface. All right, imagine that I've colored all of it in. I'm not going to finish. This is kind of collage-like. Hopefully you saw in the video, Faith Ringgold was well known for making collage with her uh, quilts and paints. Um, Jasper John used paintings. Um, next step though, I'm gonna collage some of my newspaper. If you don't have newspaper at home, well, maybe you have some scrap paper or maybe you just wanna leave it left white. So I just tore the newspaper into strips. You could always cut them. I'm gonna glue onto the background paper first, then set the newspaper on top. This is just creating some texture in my art. Let's lay the long strip. Let's do another one. So glue, which side I'll use? Well, let's break it up. We'll use that one. Okay. Looks like I have a little gap there. Just gonna make that a little wider. Great, imagine it being done. I know you guys will take your time adding in color and neatening up. Okay, so for this area, a couple of things I did um, have in my list of supplies, foil. That might look kind of fun. You could tear this and glue the pieces. 
um, I'm going to try and just tear it and form the shape of the rectangle as best as I can. So I know it is a collage. I don't mind that it's not a perfect fit. You choose what you would like best. You could always wrap this around if you want a really clean fit. Now, I have a blue permanent marker. That might be something you have at your house. If you don't, you could cut out stars or you could draw without the foil. We've used markers on foil before at school. Some of you have worked on a project with me and we know that it's kind of neat to show that shininess. Maybe I'll do some lines around here just to frame it in. And maybe some swirls. Remember, this is your American flag that you'll have ready to hang up for the weekend. Here's one I just did blue marker, and then I just tore the aluminum foil. So here's a fun project. Maybe someone else in your house would like to participate with you and create these. How nice would these look hanging up honoring our U.S. military people that have served our country before. So enjoy your weekend. Don't forget to email me your flags, and I look forward to hearing from you. Bye-bye.